What's up guys, Jimmy here, back again with another YouTube video today. In lieu of it being a very spooky time of the year, that being Halloween, uh, we're gonna go and conduct ourselves a little bit of a spooky Halloween seance. Ooh, ooh wee. Now, if you aren't aware, a seance is basically the process in which uh, a group of friends, uh, buddies, pals, what have you, will come together and they they will try and contact a spirit, someone who's gone from this world, someone who, who we've lost, who was dear to us, but now we can't really speak with anymore. Uh, for that, you need a few things. Uh, I found myself a, a wonderful handy video that I think demonstrates perfectly well what exactly it is you need to conduct yourself a seance. So, let's have a quick look at that. You will need three candles. Three candles, that's doable. Uh, for instance, I have, well, a significant number of candles. Uh, when, I, when I saw the video, I figured the three candles was kind of a modesty thing, just in case you couldn't afford upwards of 15 or like 700 candles. Uh, hopefully that won't be a, a problem, it won't have a negative influence on my seance, but I think, I think more than three is fine. A food offering. Okay, food offering, doable once again. I have with me a can of uh, Woolworths Home Brand Tuna. Um, I don't like this stuff myself, but really at this point I just had little around and I, I just kind of... I needed something for the seance, you know, so let's crack that bad boy open. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. A round table. Round table. Now that's something that I, I couldn't really achieve, so instead I've got myself a pentagram made out of human blood. Now, don't ask me where I got it, whose it is. It 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 it, it does not matter at this point because uh, it's it's all about like the, the the circular nature of the instrument in which you would position your things. A medium. A medium. A psychic medium at that. Now, I'm going to be frank with you. I don't know many psychic mediums, bar one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am in fact a psychic medium. I've been talking to ghosts for my entire life, basically since I can, I can remember speech, human speech. And I'm telling you right now, they've got a lot to say, but that's fine. We've got that part of the list sorted. What's next? A spirit to summon. All right, our spirit today now this one's going to be a little bit controversial, I'm sure of it, but I think that it's going to be one of the more interesting spirits. Geography-wise, we're probably going to have a difficult time reaching him, but I, I, think, I think we'll have an interesting time considering how strong of a medium that I am. Uh, tonight we're contacting uh, Bloody Bill Anderson. He was a, a Confederate Civil War general who was, who was known for his violent tendencies and his affinity to hurt people. Uh, we're contacting him tonight, uh, specifically because, uh, when you think Halloween, you think bad, you know, evil, kind of, kind of that kind of thing. And I think no one represents that better than Bloody Bill Anderson. And three or more participants. Okay, so three or more participants. Another position in which I unfortunately may have failed a little bit tonight, but it's, it's fine. Uh, I, I'm of the belief that if you are strong enough, as a person, if you have that kind of heart, that will, you don't even need that many people. You can you can defend yourself against any kind of goddamn spirit, and I, I truly think that I'm capable of that kind of thing. So, let's look at step number one on how we're going to conduct our seance tonight. I think that we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, let's, let's get right to the steps. Step one. Set the mood by dimming the lights and turning off any electronic devices, like the TV or stereo. So... Setting the mood, turning off electronic devices, is going to be a little bit difficult, considering I do have a huge floodlight and a camera going directly at me, but I honestly think that uh, Bloody Bill Anderson won't mind that much. I think that he's kind of a, not really a gentle, but an accepting kind of a guy, and I, I think that, I think he'll be fine with a little, a little bit of electricity going on right now. It should be fine. Light the candles and set the food offering out on the table. So, light the candles, set the food offering, done. I did that preemptively because uh, I, I wanted to make sure it was all done perfectly 
so that bloody Bill Anderson did not have to deal with such an unprofessional space if I were to do it live on camera. Step two, select a person to act as the medium to lead the seance. They should have seance experience or psychic ability. Then decide on the spirit you wish to summon. So once again, preemptively done and decided. I am gonna be the medium for tonight. Bloody Bill Anderson is gonna be our spirit. And I'm glad that the video is telling me that it can be anyone because I don't really know a lot of dead people personally and I was hoping that a celebrity would bring a little bit of spice to the video. Step three, gather everyone around the table and have them hold hands to form an unbroken connection throughout the ceremony. So another oversight, don't have anyone to hold hands with. So for at least some part of the video, I'm gonna be holding my own hand just so that we can get that connection going and strong. Uh, my apologies for that. I'm sorry if this is a little bit unprofessional and maybe this isn't the kind of seance you're used to, but it's all I got. And if we're gonna bring Bloody Bill Anderson back into the real, I mean, if we're uh, gonna talk to Bloody Bill Anderson, this is the only way we're gonna be doing it. Step four, chant in unison to summon the spirit of your dearly departed. The exact words are up to you. Bloody Bill Anderson, show yourself. Bloody Bill Anderson, show yourself! Bloody Bill Anderson, show yourself! Bloody Bill Anderson, show yourself! Whoa, that was pretty interesting. I wonder if Bloody Bill Anderson has anything else he would like to say. Bill, where are you? What might you wish to speak and say and inform me of such high caliber of? Okay, that was a bit aggressive, but that's fine. <laughs> so I, I've accidentally unhinged my hands. Oh, I'm shitting myself because they're all shit from anywhere. Oh, so <laughs> I've unhinged my hands. I'm going to try and allow Bloody Bill Anderson to enter into my soul and see if he hears anything he wants to do or say. <laughs> I have a feeling <laughs> Bloody Bill Anderson has entered into my soul, which is not good for me, <laughs> but for the sake of our communion with this Civil War general, I do think we're making some progress. Okay, it's getting bad. It's getting worse than I foresaw that it would, but once again, it's fine. Because, for the sake of this video, we want to try and have as much of a, of a communication with this ghost as we can. So, now, we, there's a lot going on. <laughs> my, my circle remains unbroken. Um, as for the blood, I, 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 I should be fine. I don't often bleed a lot, so I think that means that I get I got a lot more blood in me than, than normal people. So, uh, Bill, if you're out there, buddy, can you slow it down? It's a bit much. Okay, I think we need to call someone like the Ghostbusters or that BuzzFeed channel that does the ghost shit, because honestly, I've got a bad feeling about what's going on and what's happening to me. Um, there's, there's a lot of blood. It's all over my face and all over my hands and my arms. And it's just... It's just not where I wanted to be right about now. Bill, <laughs> you gotta cut that shit out. You know what I'm saying? That's just too much. Ugh, I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> It's getting real bad. Bill's all over the shop. He's smashing shit. He's bashing on my garage door. And frankly, I'm upset. And I'm feeling like I'm about to die. And it's just, look at all this shit. It's, it's not cool anymore, Bill. Just get out of my brain, get out of my soul. You know what I'm saying, Bill? Just, ugh.